Now my guest this evening is none other than someone, someone who's almost as intimidating as me, Ryan Manning. This guy's muscles are almost as big as mine. That is fake, man. Isn't it? Take a seat. Take a seat, pal. These are my friends, G3. I can't live without them, and I can't live with them. <laughs> I love you guys. Now, on to the show. Now, here's the thing, Ryan. I obviously don't want to make a guy like you mad because you seem pretty strong. You're coming out here, you're looking a little intimidating. But you know, some people can say that about Evan Golden. Everybody's scared of Evan Golden. Isn't that right, Chucky? I will break you in half. Now, I want to say, don't you interrupt me when I'm talking. Now, Ryan, I know that you are almost as scary and as frightening as me, and that's why I want to be on your good side. It's okay, everybody calm down. We're friends. Thank you, Ryan. Now you see, Ryan, I, I, I've got to say, I, I'm interested in you. I want to know what you, Ryan, are all about here at SOM. You are a force that isn't to be reckoned with. I want you to tell the Chucky Dome exactly what they need to know about Ryan Manis. Take the mic. It, it, just take it. I would, okay. Evan, let me just make one thing clear. I'm not just here for a few matches. Uh, keep, keep going, keep going. I'm not just here for a few matches. The reason I am here is because I am trying to do exactly what my ancestors did years ago. I am here for the glory of battle and to achieve victory and bring greatness back to what was once the greatest group in the world, and that was the Vi You were going to say the Gen 3 Express, right? I was gonna say the Norse Vikings. Can I get a witness, please? Thank you. So that is why I am here, Evan. I am here. Like I said, I am honoring my ancestors and I am here to win it all and achieve gold. What did you just say? What? Tell the camera again what you want to achieve. Are you deaf, Evan? Let me give you a little history lesson. What exactly do you think that the heathens did when they needed gold? They saw it and they took it at any cost. And I am going to prove to you and anyone that doubts me why I am prepared to earn my way to the top. Ryan, it's okay guys, come on, it's fine. He just said he wants to achieve gold. Well, let me tell you something right now, Ryan Manis. You think you can achieve gold at SOM? I'm a former hybrid champion. I'm a G3E champ. My last name is Golden. And that's exactly why I don't need to hear that from you ever again. In fact, listen to this. In fact, <laughs> I heard, Ryan, that you got married recently. Ooh, you know what, Ryan? I just want to know how she could possibly handle a moron like you. He's an idiot. He's just kidding. He's just kidding. Actually, Evan, it's because she is the only human being in this world that can handle the deranged behemoth. In fact, 
Let me show you what I'm talking about. Two weeks in a row. He's Two weeks from a in show. a row. We can't get a 24 karat goal without Evan Golden getting the snot kicked out of him. Well, he's making it easy for the bookers. They just have to put him on a show. And then that's <laughs> the right. It just happened. Mantis didn't even give Golden the option to fight him like happened like what happened last week. Mantis was just like, we're fighting. Let's get in the ring. Let's do this. Big suplex. Evan Golden with all of the whereabouts of a catfish right now flopping around. Look at that. Where we're seeing how heathens operate, right? This is how he's gonna get his gold. That's right, and he has knocked the sense out of Evan Golden. Big back body drive. Ryan Mantis came up short in a losing effort to Big Money Maverick Price last week. Now an impromptu match with Evan Golden this week. Both members of G3E here at ringside, while Evan has a foot in his throat and now stomping on the shoulders of Evan Golden is Ryan Mantis. Evan hasn't even gotten out of his little coat yet. And a side jawbreaker with a knee there by Ryan Mantis. There's the cover, one, two. No, no, that was all Mantis. Did you notice that? that he pulled him up. That's right. I think I think he had Evan Golden's code broken there for a second, but he's not done playing with his food yet. It might have been the new little honeymoon nuptial comments there. I don't know if that went over too well with That's him. right. Whipping the hair back, sending Golden to the ground. That's the thing. Evan Golden, of course, mentoring that Ryan Mantis just got married, and now... <laughs> Ryan Mantis, fresh off his honeymoon, still looking to slam this time Evan Golden. Casey Kazana wants, oh, wants Ryan Mantis to lay off, but Mantis is not done. Of course, Evan Golden in the pretty gold. Ryan Mantis, big man in the black. Now, Golden in the corner, chest is exposed. I think I know it's coming. I don't think he wants to tell him a bedtime story. He wants to slap the skin right off of his chest. Kazana can't help himself here. He's all but everything to try that's to jump right. in the ring, but that's going to get his guys disqualified. KC Kazana and Michael Gabriel here at ringside. Of course, Kazana was attempting to get involved in uh, Michael Gabriel's previous match earlier in the night with Brandon Moore, both men here at ringside now. As Ryan Mantis sets Evan Golden up on the top rope, going to bend him like Taffy. Referee Joe trying to pull Big Mantis off. Forearm to the midsection. Whips Golden across the ring and he hits hard. Falls out. What is this? Big drop kick. Evan Golden bouncing around the ring like a weather balloon in the Midwest. And just like that gets shot down. Well, one thing about man is he's being smart. He's keeping his head on a swivel. He's looking around all the time, trying to make sure these guys stay in their place. Well, knee to the midsection. Mantis letting Michael Gabriel, Casey Kazana know they can't save Evan Golden now. Hits the ropes. Gabriel sweeps the leg of Ryan Mantis. Come on, Joe. And Evan Golden, like last week, using an article of clothing and we, we didn't even mention about his elbow here. I mean, we, I just now noticed that. That's right. It, it's crazy what a, what a week's time will do to heal, an, to heal an elbow. He seems just fine. I don't think he needs that brace as he sits on the back of Ryan Mantis, choking him out on the rope. Elbow seems just fine as Michael Gabriel, Casey Kazana, both men getting involved. I swear Evan can't get a win without the help of these two. It's a big splash and a kick out. They attack like piranhas. I mean, as soon as they got their chance. That's right. Now, Mantis Ow! dragged down by his hair. Oh. You always kept your hair short for that reason, didn't That's you? That's right. A rat tail was the last time I dealt with that. Long time ago. Well, right now, 
Looks like Gen 3 Express, Jaw Jacket with the crowd as Evan Golden puts the bottom of his foot, a boot against the face of Ryan Mantis. Golden now to the outside. <laughs> Slams Mantis's head on the apron. And he's taking him into the den of snakes and Mantis luckily, I mean, had the whereabouts to roll himself back in and stay out of all that mess. That's right. And now, Evan Golden gets into his feet, kicked the midsection. He called it the golden arm using that brace pad, whatever you want to call it, that foreign object to the back and a standing moonsault. Ah, oh, that could be it. But Evan Golden doesn't realize the shoulder's up. Evan Golden got cocky, the shoulder was up. Golden may have had that one at that point. You know, and as the kids would say, that that, that elbow cat is it's getting more sus as the weeks go on here. You know, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's loaded or nothing, but. Well, if we're t talking in kids speak, sus is, I believe, while he was choking Man Mantis out on the top rope, had a couple fingers in the eyes and a couple knees to the jaw. Have Mantis rocked. Oh, big clothesline. Mantis now trying to figure out where he is. Casey Kazana celebrating like he just won the match and all he's done is put a jacket on. Evan Golden, there's the kick. He's calling for the afterburner. Michael Gabriel's up on the ropes. Hey, wait We're a up minute. on the apron. Missed the afterburner. It's big spine buster. Big spine buster. But Kazana, Michael Gabriel have Joe distracted. Evan Golden missed the afterburner. Mantis hit a spine buster. Mantis to the top rope. Look out, if I was Evan Golden, I wouldn't want to be under this big man. Oh, and before the 747 could take off, Michael Gabriel pushes him down. Golden tried to take advantage, just two. There's a forearm to the back of the neck. Standing on the hand, standing, stepping on the wedding ring hand. Smashing the hand, that's Smashing right. Smashing that hand. Can't wear a wedding ring if your uh, fingers are broken, can you? No, you can't. And the family has really been, as of late, they've been a really cohesive unit. Let's see if they can keep it together. Oh, golden hour. That's got to be it. Golden hour ends it. And Joe, again, Evan Golden got cocky accidentally rolls one of the shoulders up. It's a case of momentum for sure. I mean, he really is trying, we can tell he's really trying to get this thing taken care of. Here. Evan Golden needs to focus. He needs to not get ahead of himself. He says he's doing it now. Super afterburner he's calling for. That's the afterburner, but he comes launching himself off those ropes. Michael Gabriel, for whatever reason, is back up on the apron. But Gabriel! Michael Wait Gabriel. Wait a minute. He distracted Evan Golden on accident. Are they breaking down? Hey, Evan. The paper Evan. champion arguing with the tag team champion. There's a big choke slam from Mantis. Mantis kicks Kazana. Kazana stumbles. One, two, three, it's over. Gabriel costs him the match. over Evan Golden, but here's the kicker. Michael Gabriel, why was he on the apron? That's what Golden was starting to argue. Evan Golden was going for the super afterburner. Evan Golden would have had the match won. Michael Gabriel accidentally distracting his own partner. Evan Golden had to go over there, argue with Michael Gabriel, why were you up here? 